Ian will be churning up Gulf waters and potentially creating dangerous rip currents at our area beaches. NBC 15's Emily Pounds joins us now. Emily Baldwin County officials are expecting rough surf conditions this week as Ian approaches. Crews are asking people to be aware of the flags when going on the beaches due to potentially high rip, rip currents this week. Beachgoers are enjoying the nice weather on the Gulf Coast, but in the next few days, water rescue crews are asking folks to be on alert when going into the water. What we're looking at is the potential for large surf later in the week, and with that becomes potential for high rip current risk. You know, for the people here on vacation throughout this week, we ask them when going to the beach, be especially careful when doing so. And, and look at the beach warning flags that are posted at all the public beach access points along Gulf Place. And if it looks really rough, then just for your safety, please don't enter the water. Ed Dugan and his wife came down from Illinois for vacation. He says the waters are quiet right now, but understands the dangers of rip currents. I don't get in the water too much up like up to my knees is about it for me. I had a close friend that was, his wife got caught in a rip current in Africa and he went to save her and he got her to a couple of other guys, but then the current carried him out and killed him. So I understand about rip currents and how tired you can get trying to fight them. Unaware of the potential storm in the Gulf of Mexico before arriving, they plan to ride it out in their RV. I'm not really concerned about it unless it gets to the point of evacuation. Another beachgoer says he tried prepping for the potential storm but was unable due to the store shelves being cleaned out. Well, it was the gas cans I was have a problem to find because one store was already sold out. I drove all the way to Foley to to get some. When I went into Walmart there at Orange Beach, there was people loading up with water. They still had plenty, but they were loading up. Several grocery stores say they are seeing an influx of customers purchasing waters and supplies, but haven't experienced any shortages yet. Andrea. 